The first thing is to be honest with yourself. You can never have an impact on society if you have not changed yourself. And one of the most important weapons in changing yourself is to recognize that peace, I mean, people everywhere in the world want peace. If in these later years of a life lived in pursuit of equality, we can at last look upon our own country as one in which citizens, regardless of race, gender or creed, share equal political rights and opportunities for development, we do so with great gratitude towards the millions upon millions all around the world who materially and morally supported our struggle for freedom and justice. I was in the company of great men indeed. Some of them more qualified, more talented than I am. And uh, to sit down with them, to exchange views, was one of the most revealing experiences I had. To sit down with those men and to exchange views, it enriched your own life. It fortified your morality. It gave you courage to do better than your best. One of the mistakes which some political analysts make is to think that their enemies should be our enemies. Anybody which changes his principles depending on whom he is dealing. That is not a man who can lead a nation. You have a limited time to stay on earth. You must try and use that period for the purpose of transforming your country into what you desire it to be. A democratic, non-racial, non-sexist country. Humility is one of the most important qualities which you must have. Because if you are humble, if you make people realize that uh, you are no threat to them, then people will embrace you. They will listen to 